in that book that I gave you with Wallace Waddle, he talks about the impression of increase in chapter 14. And when you're an advancing person, that's the phrase he, he, he talks about, it's um, how your life is changing and you share it with people. People, we are afraid to be boastful and to be proud of what we accomplish. That's why, again, we went through what's new and good. Um, dentists tend to be introverted. They keep holding on to things. Um, they won't let the world know because they're afraid people are going to be jealous or, you know, all those fears come out. And, I mean, we need to celebrate what you've done. And also, the, the bigger thing, too, and I think especially in this environment, is it's inspiring to others. You have unique abilities, unique talents, unique things have happened. Um, that you can offer other people. And so when you tell them that, it's, it's sharing it. And so, I mean, I, Nancy, I'll let her introduce herself. We work with her practice and her, and her doctors. There's three doctors now. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about the impression of increase, and that's one of the marketing things we did. We might talk about that when we, um, we have time. But um, the, the power of things like that. So um, Nancy, pan, fancy Nancy, give us your, your whole spell, who you are, who you work for, What's your job is there? Okay, I'm Nancy Billbrook. Um, we're, I'm from uh, Munster, Indiana. I work for Dr. Eric Compton at Compton Dental Center. We have Dr. John uh, Ballin and Dr. Grant Cleveland. He's our new associate. I'm the office manager there. We have a staff of 21. So Nancy and Dr. Eric have been clients for probably a year and a half. And then in the last four or five months, they've become gold private clients, and we've done some intense um, coaching, marketing with them, getting everything systematized. Uh, we've Rinda's come on during that time, and she's been a great addition to it. And, Correct. Uh, and I, I tell the doctor how happy I am. I tell them how, how happy I am. Sometimes I feel like I, I shouldn't say playing referee, but sometimes I'm like the go-between to get. You know, they both want the same thing on both sides, but getting them both together on it, and um, and just kind of putting in perspective, I guess. I'm not really changing things, but I'm just doing that. So, um, you know, you shared a little bit, but share again, here's, uh, we're doing this interview, where your practice was a year ago, and and you, you had a big... Um, roadblock? No, well, roadblock, no, you had a big advancement this year. Mm -hmm. you, you hit a big milestone. Mm -hmm. If you want to share that milestone. Okay. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, for years we've been coming to the different marketing uh, seminars and classes with, but I think the milestone she was talking about is we hit our first uh, million this year one month before last year. So, you know, a month earlier, it, that was a 20% increase. And that was before we even started marketing heavily. That, that right. Was, that was just working on some other stuff. Right. So, and in this economy, and that's before bringing on another doctor. This was still with just two doctors. Two doctors. And then mm -hmm. you guys weren't satisfied there. No. So the next thing was, and which has been in the planning, but the team didn't know that at the time, was to bring on another doctor. Mm -hmm. And so we, so we essentially have a, a unique situation. We have an established practice with two doctors and a brand new practice all within the same practice. So we have different levels of marketing going on. So we, we've got we got to keep the two other ones full, and then plus we need to fill the third doctor. So that gives me some challenges, but I am very fortunate to be working with some smart people. Rinda and Nancy are really good about this. Dr. Eric is, is good about it. Um, we are doing a lot of different things, but, and we're making them systemized, mm -hmm. and we're making them manageable. Because right. you know, if you say you bring another doctor in, and we got to double our new patients, and the, you know, if I told you all that, that's the big thing. You don't need to know all the. That's, that's the scares you the big picture. We talked about we're gonna do this. And we went back at the end, we had the very first conversation with the marketing mojo. I, I think I called it marketing karma there, but I call it marketing mojo. And said, okay, this is the big picture. And we, we sometimes get reminded, this is what we're after. Um, you know, Not a shot in the dark, a shot in the dark, and say this doesn't work, and this doesn't work. We, we, we coordinate everything. And, and to be on, get fully transparent, you have a lot of different marketing systems. You don't work just totally with mobile marketing. That's how we, we got together, mm -hmm. but we, we work together on coordinating everything, don't we? we? All your different systems. Now with your coaching program, yes, you're coordinating everything for us. Because he'll ask me, did Dr. Ginger see this? Let her run, run it by her, see what's happening. But we've, we've done a lot of programs. We've done a lot of things on our own. But right now, we're being more, more consistent than we were. And it's paying off in the... Uh, 20 in the increase of 20 new patients in one month uh, it's taken a little bit of time to 
get it going forward, but we're to the point where we're seeing our results now. And one of the holdups we had too, it was you were office manager doing everything. Tw managing 20 some odd plates. It wasn't quite 20 at that point, but it was still nice high double digits. Managing all that, and you were doing the marketing. So we said, we gotta have a marketing person on board. And so that's why we brought Renda in. Well, another thing we, t we had too, uh, doctors are wonderful, but they like to micromanage. And, um, no. <laughs> and Jennifer, stop laughing. <laughs> He, 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 you know, and I understand that, but I, we'd have to have deadlines and the deadline would come and go. And um, finally, one day I sat down with him and said, do you trust me? If you trust me, then you're gonna let me run with this with Renda and it's been happening. That was a big step for you to say it that. Was. And it was a big step for him to let that go. Yeah. I mean, it took us a little while to get there. And I, th I think we can be transparent on that too. And mm -hmm. it, the results show for it. It wasn't because you weren't capable of doing it, and it's not that he didn't trust you, per se, it was just the letting go, what was holding him back. There was a fear factor from both of you. Mm -hmm. You were fearful to tell him, and he was fearful to let you. And so that's where, again, I guess, I don't wanna say referee, but that's where I came, the meeting of the minds where we can do that, and we came up with that solution. And, and I think it's worked very well. So, you know, at first I think, did you think I was pushing you hard? Yes. <laughs> I was pushing him hard. But Plus, she keeps me accountable. She calls us uh, twice a month. <laughs> so, okay, so we, we check in twice a month. We sit down, and they, they're accountable to their practice, you know, but they are also accountable to me. And I, I know what Dr. Eric wants. He tells us what he wants. Mm -hmm. And um, in a loving way, I think I am, but I'm stern way, we get what they need to do. And if they're having trouble with stuff, what's holding them back? And sometimes it's the how. Sometimes it's a fear factor. Rinda's shaking her head because, you know, we have these conversations. Um, we get over that, right? So, so we can just just do it with that. Um, so, I mean, you guys are a pleasure to work with. You're, you're, you're great and kind. Thank you. Um, what has the process been like for you? What have you enjoyed about this whole process? What we're doing all this? Actually, what I've enjoyed personally is is delegating a lot of it to Renda. Uh, you know, she does the list. She comes up with the list. She gets those on the spreadsheet. She gets the things out. She makes them. I, I talk with her about uh, what we're going to do next, and she takes it. Mm -hmm. Because with my job duties, um, I, that was one of the reasons why it didn't get done, because I have, you know, have to put up fires all day long mm -hmm. and deal with other, other issues. So the fact that she's there uh, doing that, it's been wonderful. And, and we're still working on even giving her more to do mm -hmm. and building that up and, and getting her trained and everything like that. But Brenda, first of all, has the mentality and the attitude, and she's got the personality for it um, and her strengths. We you know, believe strongly in the Colby profile. We made sure she matched what we wanted, and she did. And she's like, you had me take this test. and didn't even tell me what it was for. And we didn't care. We didn't tell her after that because we were just so happy she had the great. I just want to know, did I pass? Did I pass? <laughs> <laughs> fear of right, fear of failure. And I was like, well, you didn't tell her? No, no, she's perfect. She has all the traits that we wanted to do that. And so I work, it, it, it's kind of a triangle. With, you work with Dr. Eric as the owner, with you and with Rinda on, on certain things. And then we work on the marketing for the whole rest of the office, which, you know, marketing for 21 people is, to keep 21 people busy and full, it, it's not easy, but it's not impossible. And it's gotten mm -hmm. a lot easier because we've got all the systems we've been yes. working on. Yes, yes. Um, what has the biggest thing you've been, you think, that made the change? What has made the biggest shift? What's made the biggest shift? I think Dr. Compton's willingness to try this. Mm -hmm. And why do you think, you know, he's not here and I, it's a little bit of interjection on our part, but what do you think made him do that? Do you think it's the accountability that he knows things are being taken mm -hmm. care of, that he can let go? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I feel, you know, you know, in a diet program, you know, people lose weight, but they don't keep it off because they don't have the sustainability. And we work on that sustainability with you guys and accountability um, to make sure it's, it's going all in. So um, another thing that we've gone to team leadership models. Mm -hmm. So we have a clinical leader, a, uh, a front desk administrator leader, and then a uh, hygiene leader. Mm -hmm. And that's helped as well because 
being as big as we are, you know, there's no way physically that I can manage all those people. So I manage the leaders, and then the leaders manage the team. Well, we, we, we worked for, together for a year and a half. We've known each other longer. Um, but we've really worked on this the last year and a half. Has this been a good investment for the office? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, I, I mean, I'm already seeing it in the last month. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of offices around us that uh, doctors are thinking about retiring now and closing and quitting. And we're uh, talking about, Dr. Compton's talking about uh, remodeling. Uh, there's a big chunk of change that we've had uh, contractors come out and give us an idea. And he's thinking other things that are exciting down the road. And He's a big dreamer. He's, yeah. a, he's a fast star. And sometimes we have to keep him under control on the implementation, but why some people are, you know, thinking about how to contain their practice, how to keep their costs down. He is thinking of growth and he's seeing that. And, yeah. and you know, we're doing great with two doctors, let's bring in three doctors. And, and so people said, well, I don't have the room. You, you, you said you have to contract. He didn't wait till the building was built and the expansion was done. He brought the doctor in first. And shuffled We've expanded hours. hours. Yeah, right. we're now open Saturdays. We're open one night till nine. We're open <laughs> at seven every day. So we've expanded hours. And you guys have some really big hours. Now. And he's always uh, for the team. You know, whatever he does, he wants to do for the team as well. So he always rewards us. Um, I've enjoyed working with you guys. I really Thank have. Thank you. I really, really have. I enjoy working with you. <laughs> and you do the homework. I, mean, I don't have to. I don't. The accountability is big, but I, I mean, I don't have to nag you so much as because you know it's coming and, and you just do it. It's like we don't we don't get into it because we know what both of our jobs are, and so and sometimes I'm fresh eyes. Well, not sometimes I'm always fresh eyes mm -hmm. that come in. They're like, we have this going on. What do you think? And so I, I'm a different perspective. And then when I'll say it, and they're all yeah, 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 because I could tell you're you're struggling with the answer to some of these things. And mm -hmm. then it's it's clear very quickly. Isn't it, Brenda? That I can just feel the light bulb moment when we're on the phone. Boom. So, well, I, I mean, I really appreciate you sharing your stories. Do you guys have any questions for Nancy? She's an open book. Yes, uh, back to the Kobe thing you used mm -hmm. to help find this lady, what, what, how did you pick what you wanted to find? I mean, you weren't cloning somebody, so right. what's your... She had to take the test, and she had to meet the certain criteria, and I think it was a... We want, I wanted a fast start, oh, excuse me. No, uh, no, a fact finder and a follow through. That's what I wanted out of her. Follow through, yeah. I wanted to be able to give her something. She'd get all the information and get it done. Nancy's an implementer. Ron's an implementer. I can tell you that. They are loyal to a fault. They would follow you into anything. Wherever. And, and how, you know, you didn't tell how long you've been with this practice. Let's talk about how long you've been with this practice. 22 years. But they didn't clone, you didn't clone her. We did not clone her. No. That, that, that was my I was my, no, my marketing assistant. I wanted a certain marketing assistant. Okay. Did you have a, do you have profiles in your? I told you I wanted Colby High Fast by, um Okay. So you, did, you didn't look for just a specific clone of some that no. you have in your I, I, I wanted her to have those personality traits, and then we can give her the task. We had someone in there before Renda, and she just didn't work out. Did you, was she profiled? No. No, but she came with a marketing. She came with a marketing background. No, totally I know, new. It's been interesting. We know she she is not a fact finder. Well, and I she, can say, and she's not I a follow her. in there knowing how to do other things. It wasn't necessarily the marketing. It's just they gave me the test and said you would be good at this. Right. She she was systems and details. That's what I want in a marketing assistant. This other one could not follow details. She couldn't, she, we give her the system and she couldn't follow a map to find her rear end. I mean, and she, it was not her, her strength. And she wasn't a dumb person. You know, it's not an intelligence oh, question. I don't know. Yeah. I just thought from an interest, from a, but obviously you're more with, with them and not a fact, not trying to write a book on hiring, but from an interest standpoint, it would have been interesting to see the old profile Oh, I knew what profile they, they'd already hired her when I started working. I knew this was a, if we hire a marketing assistant, they will have this trait. That's from my background, my research, and, and, and all my experience. I know that's the two mm -hmm. traits I need. Yeah. Did you have profiles on other 
things or just the, uh, my only concern is the marketing assistant because that's what I focus on. You know, you know, staff members are certain implementers. You know, Ron's great as a hygienist, but that, you know, Ron is not a fact finder and he will not follow through. Um, Nancy has the same thing. I give her on it, and she gets the crap in the office happens. And so I said, we got to pull this out. We need to. I need this person, and I'm not going to change Nancy into that profile. So that's what we're going to do. Did you use that in your other business, your dental business? For mar for marketing person, yes. Well, not for. Like not not for a dental assistant. Um, if they did front office stuff or they would do marketing stuff on the side, I would use them for that. Like a hygienist, I like the implementer. Um, according to Colby, an implementer is one of the highest skill sets for dentists. They they do. They just do do do. But you know when you get an implement uh, fast start like Dr. Compton, which most people I'd say in this room as far as dentists are fast starts. They they, they start the ideas but they don't follow up on them. Look at all the heads nodding. Yes. Uh, but that's not the typical dentist profile. You know, the, the typical dentist, 80% of them are implementers. They just, they're detail oriented and they just go through and do it. That's why Nancy got the air conditioning. Right. But it also, sometimes it's conflict. And, I, and not in a bad way, but it just, why can't he just see it my way? Why can't she just see it my way? And, and that's my job to come in there in between. And they're seeing it both the same way. They're both seeing it. That's the funny part. Seeing the quarter, one is just seeing the head, and the other seeing the mm -hmm. tail. <laughs> so that's why it works a lot. Well, Nancy, I appreciate you sharing with us. Is there anything Thank else you. you think they need to know? <laughs> In your experience? In my experience, no. If they have any questions, <laughs> okay. ask me later. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, Nancy. Let's give Nancy a big hand. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. She's not a public speaker. You know?